This is a starter solenoid from a riding lawnmower. But hopefully I can take this apart and show you that there's not much difference in your four-wheeler, your outboard motor, the riding lawnmower. And you can uh, kind of fix it. Some of them you have to buy a brand new one. But we're going to do a couple of segments here and see if they, we can help you out. I use my Dremel tool to grind down the smaller side of the pop rivets. There was four of them in this one. Sometimes there's only two. But uh, how this works is your battery connector, battery cable goes to one post, your starter cables to the other post. And when you hit your key, you're energizing this magnet, which sucks uh, these two pieces together with this one little piece. And you can see that when you let off the key, it would, uh, the little spring, the magnet de energizes and the spring pushes this little plate back out of the way. And now you're running but when you turn the key on and you hear a click 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 don't take for granted that it's a starter i had a thousand people look i had a thousand something views on a player starter and it can't always be the starter so if you're hitting it and you're running fine and all of a sudden you're getting this click 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 instead of the starter slowly grinding over the last few months, this could be your problem. And you can buy another one easy, uh, or you can do like me and take it apart and put it back together in about uh, 30, 45 minutes and be good to go. If you can see this part where the connection hasn't been good and if you take when you take this apart you'll see that it's just not making good connection so I'm going to clean these parts up and show you what it will look like when they're good and clean and this thing will uh, this magnet will suck it back together and it'll start with the turn of the key. So I took some sandpaper and uh, brightened up the part of the post that makes contacts and I cleaned up the plate. So now when the magnet tries to suck it together it should make good contact between the battery cable and the starter cable. And I need to mention that a lot of these you can push this little, uh, sorry about that, push these little posts down through there, but this didn't have enough slack so I had to unsolder it. Like I said, some of them you can't even fix, but we're doing a good job on this one so far. And you drop them back in, put the first nut back on, snug it up good. I just temporarily bound it together with some stiff wire until I can put a pop rivet in it. But you can uh, tape it if you don't have the right tools, uh, screws. Uh, I'll put them back together with that. Uh, if you're ingenious enough to take on this task, then you can figure out a way of putting it back together, making it stay. So I'm going to pop rivet this together and then I just happen to have the right length for the pop rivets. We'll get this puppy back on. Pop rivets put back in, pop rivets are in place, all four of them, 
it's just like brand new now. I'll just go put it back on. I hope this helped you out.